boop. Okay. Caden, quite fittingly, barging into the room. Like, you have to unstick the door so much that it crumbles and breaks the wood in some places. Quite similar to the ground. It's almost mm -hmm. sucked a lot of the integrity from it. And what you see in this room, there's like these sticky tendrils of this uh, vibrant, garish biomass. Almost, almost like a spider's web, actually. And the creature standing there is not a hybrid. It's not a human with parts of this uh, alien properties. It's almost like a blob of that alien flesh has taken a slightly humanoid form. It's very bulky, very thick, and it seems like it probably only... Not that Caden is smart enough to work this out. It's only humanoid enough because that's just the way to get around and smash things. And it looks like it's just peeled itself away from the ground here. There's like a almost a silhouette and like it's still kind of stuck to it and it's like pulling its body away. It is this garbled mesh of latticed colored flesh, pinks on yellows on stony grays, uh, tendrils, tentacles, Terrible. big chunky carapace chunks. Yeah, it's gross and horrifying. Luckily, you've seen one of these recently, and so their existence doesn't terrify you. That's good news. Um, does this appear like I'm gonna, like, uh, is this difficult terrain? No, no! No, it's just flavor terrain? Yeah. All right. It's sticky. It's sticky. Gross. Two, <laughs> three, four, five. <laughs> um, six, seven. Because I, I have 40 movement speed, so um, yeah. I can move up to eight. You can. Tiles. Yeah, so I know that's that seven one, there that's for me. That's what doggos were doing. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I'm going to swing at it with my axe. Excellent. Ooh, that is a miss, and that allows it to immediately use its reaction. The thing, as you approach, mm -hmm. kind of lumbers down on its front arms, mm -hmm. and as you miss, all these, like, sea and enemy tendrils kind of splurt out of holes on the arms. Please give me a strength save. Hold on. I've pressed too many buttons. <laughs> You're only allowed so many buttons at a time. It That's tries to grab hold of the weapon. And, and mm. your hand, by extension. <laughs> you have another axe! <laughs> Get out of here! Yeah, all the tongues, it kind of shoots at you. You just peel away. All right. I'm going to attack again immediately with my axe, then. Uh, Excellent. <laughs> that is another miss. Terrible, terrible swings. Uh, and then swing again with the offhand. And 16? 16 is going to hit. Thank goodness. Uh, for nine damage. That's actually pretty good. That's damn. It actually is pretty good. Uh, unfortunately, yeah. like the hybrid, it does kind of like skid and chunk into the carapace, not truly effectively. But like, yeah. you you fought enough weird things to know. You keep, you keep on smacking them. Yep. Keep on yep. smacking them. Yep. Uh, well, that, is down. that is my turn. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. Just one big one. And it's letting out weird noises too. It's like whole neck area is this big pouch, and the mouth is kind of like distending down. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> well, ain't you just a beautiful son of a bitch? I am going to cast Spiritual Weapon like right here. Can you? Oh, I luckily I have multiple screens, and I saw it on a different screen. I had to look away to pick up your sword. Hmm. What the? And that sword Shing. will then attack him, of course. Ah! Just so you know, Josiah, the ruling we have for spiritual weapon is it cannot give advantage, but it does get advantage if it's flanking someone. Oh, I didn't realize that. That's okay. Um, in that case, I'm gonna do it here you want to re-roll yeah yeah that's just kind of the, the best way to do like holograms and spiritual things and illusions and stuff <gasps> well, yeah, that's what? why you re-roll oh. that's why you re-roll sometimes i take it from you sometimes i give it to you 
Take Brilliant. That. The thing is so oh. focused on trying to get Caden's axe away, but you can just slice away at the back of the thing. A whole bulbous kind of postural you just like and sloughs down onto the ground like sodden uh, meat. Gross. Then I'm gonna yes. go ahead and uh, summon some souls of the dead with the spirit guardians. Ba -ba. I can't do that because it's a ba leveled spell. You're correct. And I can't use two spells off of level one, so I don't. No, do that. no, I don't punish that. You don't subscribe. That never to made that sense bullshit. to me. All nah, right. you can. I mean, you can I absolutely agree, min max. But... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Great. Then I do that, and then I set my <laughs> turn like I said I was going to. Uh, Amelia. Okay. Ronan. <laughs> that doesn't sound mm -hmm. human. No. These wards should help Thank protect you. against anything. Uh, oh, extra good. planar in nature, which I believe is what we're dealing with. No, there is a roar from action. the other room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there are more so axes where that came from, you little bastard! <laughs> it's my three heads <laughs> now! <laughs> Looks like happy. I was right. <laughs> <The horrifying. laughs> yeah, it has similar <laughs> traits to all the other ones, but it's just so much bigger and not built for speed. Built for smash. <laughs> and guess what it's gonna try and Blood do? And smash. Uh huh. Caden! Yep. It's gonna do a slam attack against you. Uh, your AC right now is 17? 16? 16. It's not gonna hit. It's not gonna hit you with the slam as it charges forward. It is gonna try and bite you afterwards, which also misses. Um. Stop trying to take my axes! <laughs> and it's like just lunging and sort of. It moves very similarly to a giant frog or something. Something that Caden has probably also fought at this point in his life. Unfortunately, uh, yeah. Yeah. Ronan! Okay. One. Two. Three. Oh. <laughs> you see Caden okay. wrestling with this thing and doing pretty well. Just shy of distance. That's okay. So... Four, five, six. Um, you know what? Yeah. I can occupy the same space as that blade, right? The yeah. spiritual weapon. Uh, I'm just going to dash up and uh, tumble fighter. Not a boy. Caden. You are one ugly thing. Are you talking to me or the beast? Both. Well, <laughs> it's like no hesitation. Just don't want to insult yourself now, brother. Eyes on the back of the beast open up facing you, Ronan. Oh, okay, that's not right. All right, 18 to hit. That's a hit, yep. Yeah. Oh, roll 20 is being very slow. Well, you are also rolling a lot of dice at a time. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> give, to I know. give it some uh, credit. All right, you know, fair enough. So that's 10, but it's 5. Trying. And then... That'll Given be... It, oh, oh that's a gone. nine. Oh. oh, can you give me a strength save, please? Yeah, same. Oh, shit, here, okay. I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah, it's again, it's, it reaches out with sticky tendrils when you uh, just... When it manages yeah. to move away, you just keep on hacking away at them to stop it from getting a good Ooh. grab on you. Dodge the one. Yep, dodge the one. I'll take that. And uh, that's my turn. Theo. I think... It's about time you went back from whichever hole y'all crawled out of. I'm gonna walk up here, and first things first, spiritual weapon. Don't 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 add that sound effect to this voice you're doing. It's a very different person. That a is a miss. Cool. And then I'm gonna try to bop him with my cane here. Where... I don't know what happened. That's that, a hit. But... Yeah, something happened. Hey, something aberrant weird. and strange. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably because you have Kane written in all caps. <laughs> in all honesty, <laughs> that's probably why. So he takes eight thunder. That nine only procs if he moves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a devastating strike, right? It's it's the. There's a way more force behind it than it there should be, which really rocks the creature. Amelia.
Don't think I have anything I can cast that would be beneficial right now. It's you you got so. this all pretty sorted, really. Yeah, so I'm just gonna just gonna let things play out. Okay. It's going to try and uh, make a take... wisdom save. <laughs> uh, it fails and takes all of that damage, being Damn. rocked from all sides. And you can see a kind of, you know, clear sign of more primitive intelligence as it realizes it's trying to sort of attack back at the ghosts and spirits you're calling to attack it. Uh, it is going to just kind of flail out in every direction. It's going to try and slam you, Theo, but your shield takes it. Yeah, if it goes to attack someone that's not me. Exactly. Gonna... <laughs> oh, now, oh my this, god. You... How many natural ones can we roll this game? Let's count. Please give me a strength save, Ronan. Now, oh do I get god. advantage on this from uh, the protection from good and evil thing? Do you no. get advantage on it because you're just attacking the thing that's you've got flanking? Just, you would have advantage on that attack, actually, yes. Oh yes, oh, so we, we can re that. we can retract <sighs> all the way. In fact, double one, oh. double one is to confirm God is dead. Okay. Okay. Hey. Thank, <laughs> thank fuck. Thank fuck. Okay. God is not dead. Oh, thank the you. The name of thank my you. favorite movie. And it being a magical weapon, it means once it turns to attack him, uh, you get a really good chance. And it's actually going to ro rotate back to you, Ronan. And it almost as it moves, this one is a lot more fluid. It is kind of like a slush. As it, you can Ooh. sort of hear the bones, well, bone-like appendages inside snapping. It actually is going to get a bite off against you, uh, Ronan. I'm going to need you to give me a strength save. But first, this is the one dice I didn't prepare. Why is it? Why is it so under my Nintendo question. Switch? <laughs> here's the question, Ali. If I have my magical ward observe the damage, right? Yeah. Does he still have to make the save? He yes, really it's not the dam. Usually, it's it's not the damage; it's an, an effect of the attack hitting. Okay. So yes, it would take the damage. You still have to make the save. Okay. If it's like a poison, and he takes more damage. Then he's gonna be fine. Uh, but first, so that would be seven piercing. Would that be on the ward? I have nine health on the ward. So yes. So yes. So yes. So okay. Okay. I can, I can take uh, up to nine damage. Yep. The nine piercing, first of all, from the teeth. Then there's going to be some acid damage because the mouth is full of gross. Um, so that's going to be nine acid on acid on you, Ronan. And so can you give me a strength the save from the ward, or does the ward not cover that second bit? Up to, I take nine. Off yeah. Of it. Okay. Oh, okay. Whatever the so total I, damage is, I take nine away from So that. okay, I take a little bit less. Cool. Okay. Yeah. So you take about half. So it, it was sixteen. So you take nine off of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you give me that strength save, Rona? Oh, it that was tries a its hardest to pull you into its mouth, and it's a hard fight because it grabs at you kind of sideways, head just, uh, and you can feel its stomach acid kind of being sprayed onto you. It's multiple tongues. <laughs> It's trying its hardest. You get the glaive in the way. <laughs> so it can't properly secure. Uh, and eventually it just kind of spits and staggers back. Okay. That's not okay. This thing needs to die. Yeah, you don't want to get swallowed. So you'll see actually this time, Ronan takes a sort of like stance to get ready. Uh, it looks a little bit more agile than his normal stance, so he's going to take, uh, take a hit. Come on. I was have advantage, so I derped. Please re-roll that, yes. Uh, that's going to be a hit. Cool. I'm going to attack again. Blessings. Jeez. Oh, what a baby back damage. That's a hit. And then you'll notice in those movements, it's almost as if uh, there was a second attack in each of those movements, and I'm going to use action surge. Mm. Like a, a sort, of, sort of like darker Off. version of his arm and glaive attack out at the same time as each of his other attacks. Yes! Oh! oh! You 
you love know what? to see it. You, you love, love to you know see what? it. The best part about that is, so yeah. I'm gonna uh, use yeah. Elder Smite on this yeah. one. Nice. It's the so this is like the final. Bl so he does all the moves, and then the final stab in. It goes in and Eldritch Please Smite. Please describe this kill. So There's no mathematical it. way. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So he stabs it in and there's this sort of rush of air inwards in as there's just vacuum of nothing where he hits and then rips it out and there's a loud crack and it's dead. It's... Yay. Nice. <sighs> Crumples up like a weapon. piece of paper. I, I need to, I need to upgrade my weapons. It seems. <laughs> Put them down on my belt. <laughs> oh, I'm sure there's all over there. Um, all manner of entities out there that would be willing to upgrade your weapons think, for a small fee. Uh, there's like a pause a where like Ronan's like just staring at the court, and then Ronan just. <laughs> I oh, will add that journal to your uh, inventory. Uh, <laughs> Amelia. Just make sure it's real dead. <laughs> you chop oh. it up into a fine pate. <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh my god, what is going on? What Why? are you doing? What's happening? He's, move <laughs> he's moving the spiritual weapon. <laughs> oh, I let him do it. But he's, I shouldn't have done he's it. He's moving it everywhere. All right. Um, is there food here, by the way? Yeah, the food looks like it was been. It, it, uh, it's not. There's not that much food, right? But there was food for multiple people that's been out for a long time, and it actually looks like from where this thing sat, and it sat here. Uh, there's tendrils that kind of like scrawled across the floor like a slime mold and took all the food. So it's like there's a corner around here. Back. All right, looking for any shit the business. Yeah, I, I gave go you the book. together this time, shall we? If one of you would <laughs> yeah. like to read the book out loud, I would greatly appreciate it. The book. Oh. It, False alarm. Amelia. Where's the book? Should be I gave it, it's in your handouts. Handouts. Oh, uh, I don't want to read this. It's number seven. <laughs> ah. I realized I was going to get homework. <laughs> <laughs> you can give it to someone else to read. A scientific journal written in high level dialect. It features diagrams of what look to be high level military plans. The beta subject continues to exceed my expectations. It appears to be creating telepathic networks similar to the results of the alpha subject. However, it is using the hybrid test subjects, like ants in its colony. They are connect conflicted and confused as if the beta subject is pushing its thoughts and instincts into their head. Verily, if this can be decanted into magic, it would prove exceedingly useful for the military. I really wish people like this would stop trying to make magical abomination weapons. I don't know why they want anyone to not be able what? to... I mean, that just... It's a very profitable industry. Well, well, yes, but... If they survive. What's this, like, the fifth one of these sort of things we've had to deal with, Caden? Um, nothing to this extent, but, I mean... And no, but the same... Nothing like, like this, but, yes, doing people a trying thing. to do horrible... It's usually more that they've created an abomination out of themselves. They become a horrible boil monster or, you know, similar things like that. I, I would say seven. Maybe seven now by this uh, point. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I've yeah. lost. I've lost count. <laughs> it's the unfortunate answer. Um, risk is probably not worth the reward. Is what I would say to that. Yes. Well, that depends on the value you put on human life. Yes, the risk is not worth the reward. The, the, their own life is usually the one that pays. Yeah. Weird how they care about that. Yes. Uh, well. I hope we find that boy. I hope he wasn't here. I hope we didn't already smash him oh. into bits. You see, like, Rona have that realization of, like, oh, that's right, that's why we were here. Caden yeah. <laughs> oh. kind of looks back at the goop dripping out of his bag and just kind of scrunches his nose. Well, where was this guy's home? 
Did Was you this grab his home? the beta subject? We should grab the beta subject as well. Uh, all right. Just to, we have to. We have it, to you're right. Something. You're not wrong. I, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna pick up the. It's beta much subject. easy. This one's much easier to squish because there's no human bones in it. Oh good. Uh, oh, so oh. you can compress it into a a, a ball. A ball? Yeah. yeah. It actually seems like it probably was a ball when it was kind of squished against the wall right. there. Uh, I'm going to wrap it up in my spare pants because I wrapped the other one in my spare yeah. shirt. So yeah. I'm going to wrap this one in my spare pants and I'm just going to turn to Amelia and I'm just going to say, I'm going to need expenses for some traveling clothes as well after this. <laughs> and I'm going to put it in my bag with the other one. It's going to push down. Yeah. Yeah. Do we have a choice? Do we go to their home now, or do we push it off? I think we need more information. I don't even know, do where, their know where their home is. know where their home is? Yeah, that. No, we would have to look into that, and honestly, like, it would give me time to research these subjects a little further. Yes. And the books Could... that we gathered. Can would we you show guys be the... able to find out the information of where he lived? Mm. While the father and I look into these books? Let me grab one of the little ones. <laughs> right. Wrap up one of the little ones. Just, we'll show this to the college and make them tell us. Yeah. Um, All right. You might as well be dramatic about it. Do you want to take one of the larger ones? Uh, <laughs> what, are, what good are those spider corpses, if any? I don't think anything. I mean, I suppose they have poison that could be extracted from them if we really wanted to. That's from your really like, style. from your like, I kind of checked before. Like, mm -hmm. phase spiders are common enough that all the things to be researched from them have been researched by one of the colleges <laughs> at this point, right? <laughs> so they're not I feel like one. most fey creatures. I don't know. I feel like there should be like some like drug relation with them. Like, yeah, these aren't fey. Can be taken. These oh, are okay. like their own thing. But you are like, in general, any poison taken in a low enough dose is gonna make you trip. <laughs> So you, that is a valid point either way. <laughs> okay, well, we'll uh, the take, poison uh, didn't we'll, knock him out immediately. So we'll take the one with the that looks vaguely human with the bones. That'll give more of an impact. That I would think. probably spook them. I mean, we did bisect. Well, I, I want to examine the human bones. I have one of them. Um, if we take the bisected one I'll to the college, the that's <laughs> a little bit more dramatic, maybe. Okay. Oh, the one that was Ronan goes half. off to yeah, gather yes. that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just used the word that Theo used. I don't know if it was correct. Bisected? Bisected. That's appropriate. Bisected, oh, yes, what that is, that is correct, son. What, what does that mean? Job. It is when you split what is typically some type of human being in twain. Oh, so like my brother and I. In a manner of speaking. At one point, I'm sure. All right. Oh, that makes sense. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a very clever joke. For the audience. <laughs> yeah, we neither, neither <laughs> of us would get like, yeah, we're just no. like uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> to the to the college of uh, Con conjuration, right? That the, this they yeah. sent you this the way. Yes, I think this is a great place to actually end the session off. Uh, instead of going off down some side paths immediately and kind of getting tangled up in those. I would I like to rest anyways before we go back to the college. Yeah, you might want to take a, a nap uh, <laughs> yeah. beforehand. A um, but nap. why don't a we long. end off today's session here and you can investigate the alien creatures and spook the colleges next time. <laughs> yeah. All right. And my lights just flickered, so I think that's a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect time. All right, quickly, before his power goes out. Aaron! <laughs> I'm Aaron. I'm tired. <laughs> That's I'm another here reason every to Sunday. end. I know. Relatable. I'm sleepy. Um, we're here every Sunday. It's great to see you guys. Um, check it out every week. Check these guys out on all of the various platforms they post on, <laughs> including Kickstarter, which is really cool. And that's all. Peace. Josiah, quickly. Yo. Before the uh, dragon yeah. takes you away. <laughs> no, just, yeah, we um, we have a Kickstarter coming out, which is super dope and exciting. So go check that out. Dope. Yeah, there it is in the chat. But in case you're not watching this on Twitch, schism.
Kickstarter, make it happen, follow it, get a notification when it comes out, support it, maybe get a game. Who knows what could happen? Also, I have a YouTube channel. Go on YouTube and you'll see all kinds of neat stuff. That coconut video is almost done. I mean, it's shot in <laughs> The film. coconut. Gone. Really oh, yeah. Video. That should be out hopefully tomorrow or maybe the day after. But yeah, it was, there was, it was more gross than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> And it was also more delicious than I thought it was going to be in other parts. So make sure, you know, watch to the end surprises throughout. Sounds like my <laughs> sex life. <laughs> On that topic, Tesh. Hi, you I'm Tesh of the Tesh. <laughs> Tesh always gets name. the worst link. I, I feel bad. Yeah, it's it's every time. <laughs> it's always following Josiah. And, and Josiah weird, leaves it weird notes. Right? Weird. Um, <laughs> it's also because he usually talks about monsters. Yeah. And that, so that True. never leads a good transition. Coconuts. Anyway. Coconut monsters now this time. Yeah, yeah. Coconut. Uh, I'm Tesh of the Tesh Tube. You can find me under that name on YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter. Uh, follow me on Twitter for good animal gifts. Follow me on, on Twitch for RPGs and whatnot. And follow me on YouTube for Resident Evil and streams. What? Resident Evil? Yeah, Resident Evil 6. Jankiness of jank. It's fun. Oh, right. 6. I, yeah, I, no, we're I have played 6. We're I hear that if, with, if, you, uh, a friend if you actually a learn stuff. and master 6, it is in a really, really good action game, but it doesn't action, teach you yes. any of its mechanics. The, the, yeah, well, the, the issue is that we're running into is it's just so, so glitchy. Like, to the point of there was a car chase scene where the driver was desynced from the gunner, resulting in just chaos. <laughs> mm. Well, speaking of chaos, the least chaotic boy on the planet is Will Graham. It's probably fair, honestly. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah uh, I'm Will. You can find me uh, on Twitter and Twitch at Will and Graham. Uh, big thing is the Kickstarter. That is the numero uno thing on my plate right now. Uh, we've been working really hard to get that uh, going, and I'm really excited about it. I would really appreciate it if you checked it out, followed it, and uh, you know, were notified when it went live so you can check out all of the hype around it. Um, that being said, I'm also actually going to be starting to play Divinity on Saturdays, uh, Divinity Original Sin 2 with a couple of friends on Saturdays at around noon-ish. I don't remember what time. I should check. I'll. It'll be on my Twitter at some point. Uh, but I'm playing with Tiv, Tantus, and Lightning um, just for some fun role-playing shenanigans in Divinity Original Sin 2. So that's going to be a fun time. If you want to watch me chill and uh, play a snarky, sassy, intelligent wizard, um, then uh, you can see a very different kind of role-playing compared to Caden uh, in Divinity Original Sin 2. You just go back to Beruit. Basically, yeah, except Beruit is more like Will's Claire. default. Yeah. That's, everyone's that is, that is everyone's first D&D character is them through a fantasy angle. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's correct. <laughs> Brew it. Brew yeah, it. But that's, that's me. So, Ollie, what about you? Uh, I've been working really hard on the Kickstarter. Um, pretty much working full time on it. So there have been less streams and content uh, on my behalf. But you should follow us on Twitter. You should follow the Kickstarter. Um, basically, if that succeeds, that's the future. In these, in these troubling times, the future is Yavaskir. Uh, if you give me all of your money, uh, I recommend it, personally. Um, you can also give me your money on Patreon where there is another show. Uh, all patrons get access to uh, Fallow Jim Academy right now. They're actually doing a uh, redeemed Dark Elf plotline at the moment. Uh, which is quite interesting in Yav, if you watch the other shows. Um, the other show is, of course, on Wednesday. That is very, uh, very different, different part of the world, very spiritual. Uh, and all of these games have connections to what we're going to have going on in Schism, because Schism is set in Yavaskir. Um, once this Schism, like, once we get into a bit more of a better schedule, I will be continuing to stream Tuesdays, Thursdays, Fridays maybe. There's a schedule down below and I'll also do it on the Discord and the Twitter and also Saturdays. Um, it's very up in the air right now because everything is. <laughs> so uh, Including the virus. So we're gonna go now. 
Um, but thank you all for continued support while we work so hard to bring Schism to life. I know uh, it means there's been less content from all three of us uh, who are making it. So uh, hold on just a little bit longer and you'll get some awesome stuff out of it. Just one more thing, just for those who didn't see it at the start of the show, That's right, I do yes. just want to show again the front That's of the cool. box here. Um, this is, sorry, I'm going to try and get this in frame so that just my little eye is peeking through on the other side. Yes! Uh, <laughs> this is the, the Schism Immolation of Oath and Fur box. Uh, just as a little spoiler, it is the first set. There are multiple sets, so uh, if you're interested, uh, this isn't the only set. If uh, North uh, Northmen and Hobgoblins aren't necessarily your bag, don't worry. We might have some special treats for you coming up soon. Yes, exactly. See you later. Hope you stop by for some other stuff later. Wash your hands. Wash your fucking hands. Wash your fucking hands.